hello dear people, I have got their man and fix for you how to uh, fix USB 3.0 forks. If you have got Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, depending of course what type of motherboard you will use. Also pay attention what you have to turn uh, off inside uh, BIOS UEFI because this is important too. You will definitely need to turn power saving features off. If you got a, a if you have got a in the Ryzen, there will be probably there are more probably options. I don't have yet Ryzen. If I have, I will let you know. At the moment, I'm using that motherboard, which has UEFI BIOS. You, I have to tell you what really fixed my problem of USB 3.0 ports. Because nothing else was working in the past. I will tell you what was, what finally I was able to fix my ports. Because USB sometimes stopped working. So what I turned off, I will read down for you. Those uh, two options I turned off completely. This is what fixed my error. But I have to uh, adjust a little bit. Uh, give me a few seconds. Mm. I'm using the latest version of Libre Office. I just have to align I think now it should be okay, give me another few seconds. Okay, these two options helped me to get rid of that error. After disabling USB legacy support, USB 3.0 legacy support, I no longer have issue with USB 3.0 port. This is important. Uh, second option, what you have to pay attention on, power options. If you got high performance or this option, you go to change advanced power settings. You set uh, you set option to zero so that your harder drive will never turn off. And next, uh, allow hybrid sleep, you disable it. USB selective suspend, you switch to disable. Very important. Uh, I think next option, we have to, we have to go to device manager. Because this, this is important too. You also have to disable in power management that option. Uh, you check this. You also check root hub. You make sh you make sure this is antique. Very important. You also check hubs. If any of the hub has got this option on, you have to disable. Check also this. No, this doesn't have that option. And what else? Also check latest driver because I got AS Rock motherboard. I am using the latest driver. This is, I think, the most current driver. I don't see the drivers from 2021. As you can see, this is quite in important. I I updated uh, to the newest USB 3.0 driver because I had very uh, very outdated driver uh, from 2013. That means from 2020. But please uh, 
consider what I showed you, the most important thing is uh, to disable USB legacy support and this. Also, I completely forgotten to mention because you may not boot to BIOS because of this. What you have to do in this case, you have to use uh, that type of keyboard, PSP keyboard for computer. Sorry that this came up. Uh, I try to show you what I exactly mean. Uh, because only by using this... Uh, why this doesn't come up? Aha! Sorry people, I completely forgotten. This is what I meant. Uh, this, you have to use this PS... Uh, slash to mouse ps2 port you have to use uh, i forgot the name of extension without it if you disable this and this you have to disable to get rid of compatibility issue this is why sometimes my usb was stopping uh, I will explain why this was happening. When I was using my docking station, which is connected to USB 3.0 port, I couldn't use Regiboost. Uh, after a while, USB 3.0 stopped working properly. Now, at the moment, I can not only uh, use this, but I can also uh, disable Regiboost. Uh, I can also eject as normal. I will show you. If you have got that issue, don't worry. You can use option Event Viewer to check what process is blocking from ejecting your hard drive. We will see. We got we got we got a gigabyte OC Guru which we have to terminate. We also got. Uh, Oh no, I cannot do that at the moment. But you can also use a different utility which I have got on my desktop. Hot swap, you can use hot swap. Hot swap will eject the drive and I will show you. I no longer get any USB Three zero issue. And I told you the truth. This was working for me. And I will use crash drive once again. Ready boost. I don't know if this is uh, necessary. If you have got uh, not, if you haven't got enough memory RAM, but I'm using Velociraptor drive. Velociraptor is quite fast. This is why I was able to use this drive as a crash. As you can see, properties, uh, we go to hardware. Oh no, I haven't set up to high performance this. Oh no, I completely forgotten about this. No good, no good, Simon. You have forgotten about it. No, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do that once again. W you can also check properties of that drive because th this is docking station. That is the drive itself. But this is very fast uh, drive. I forgotten to mention. I have to turn this off on once again. I no longer get USB three zero issue after disabling this and this but please consider this what i told you very important uh, i will also check this if you have those connected by using that port because that port you will need uh, to be able to boot to virus uefi why i'm telling you this because you don't need uh, this because this is causing 
compatibility issue and this as well. This is why I disabled this completely. I hope you liked this video. Bye.